Hello everyone, my name is Kusal Kesi. I don't know if you guys have seen my first video, that was mostly Korea related. But today, we are going to show you St. Cloud State University around. Uh, this video is one of my uh, projects for international studies. And uh, our main goal is to uh, show around the campus, like most of the external side of the campus. And today we are going to talk about most of the major buildings, as well as the things we do on campus. On my left side here, um, we have Performing Arts Center. So this is like if you are in you know music related major like any music performance major, this building gonna be kind of useful to you. And um, they have like a piano rooms, a music rooms, music labs. I'm not musically related major. I'm engineering major, so I don't know much about this building. But um, our goal here is to like show you most of the buildings on campus. And this area is kind of like a social hub for you know uh, for Saint Cloud State University. This is like the in between the major buildings like a Centennial Hall. This is our business business building. And this is Atwood Memorial Center. So Atwood Memorial Center is like Eastern Union. Um, we have all the Eastern organizations office here, like multicultural student services, as well as um, if you are in some in some sort of like cultural organization, your office is going to be here. Things like um, retail areas, like if you want to buy something, that's going to be in here too. As well as uh, Department of uh, Campus Involvement, um, Eastern Government. Let's go inside. Uh, we're going to talk more about. Uh, uh, this building, when we go inside, uh, I'm kind of confused from outside as well. <laughs> let's go, let's go! <laughs> so, yeah. so we are inside Atwood Memorial Center right now and um, this is one of the major buildings on campus because um, all the students, this is like a social offer for the students to get in here, if you want to get some coffee, if you want to hang out around. Uh, this building also has like a banks, movie theaters, bowling alleys, Almost everything. We also have like a major uh, ballroom space up here, so all the culture nights are uh, uh, all the culture nights are organized in that ballroom space. And um, yeah, let's let's see around building. So in heart of uh, Atwood Memorial Center, this is like the main lounge area. So uh, during um, your campus days or during your college days. There's going to be lots of students around sitting here, just chilling around and uh, I don't know, I like this building because uh, it's kind of like a happening building, you know, you, every other building is focused on some major or some other things, but this building is for everyone. This building is where you get to connect with other students uh, and this building is where you get to learn more about campus life at St. Cloud State University. Department of Campus Involvement. Let's go, let's go! <laughs> Alright, uh, so we are getting out of the Adam Memorial Center here. I, wanna, I wanted to come out from this side because um, I wanted to show you some of the building that's going to be important to you as an international student. Um, on my left here, kind of in the far side, this, is the, this building is called Lawrence Hall. All right, so this is a dormitory, but uh, I feel like it's important to mention it here because this building also has Center for International Studies office in their uh, first floor. So goal is to like, if you are an international student, you need to, you need to know uh, where the Center for International Student Office is because that's where you get all the help uh, in terms of your visa or service or like I-20 related or any um, as a F1 status related questions. So this is where your Center for International Studies Office is going to be and this is also the dome and this is Lawrence Hall. On my left side here, so this building is um, actually this is like a two building actually. Um, it has two names because it has uh, auditorium inside. So a lot, most of the bigger culture nights or concerts, choirs are happened in this building. Uh, it's a rich auditorium, and this is also another side is Stewart Hall. So that's your uh, some of the classes gonna be uh, um, conducted in that building. So yeah, look around. So this is our campus. Um, we call this like a space, if you see this, this area is pretty big, we call this space like Atwood Mall space. 
and then um, during summertime or like a, during spring season there's gonna be like you know main street events like you know where you get to know more about your Eastern organizations on campus or if there is any like, farmers market as well as we also do like lots of parties in this side like we used to have like you know paint parties uh, foam drop parties most of the time uh, university program board used to organize their parties here and um, yeah lots of events this area is pretty fun area So on my back side here, uh, this is Centennial Hall. Uh, this is also where Hargurger Business School is. And um, this is really nice building in terms of for, for the business majors because there is um, all of your class is gonna be here. Plus uh, there's a Husky bookstore inside and there's courier services. Um, I don't really wanna go to all the buildings inside but uh, we're gonna go to this building inside because uh, this is also really important in terms of, you know, if you wanna find job, you need to find where the courier services is and you need to learn how to make resumes, cover letters, right? So this is the building where that all Thing lies, so we're gonna get in. <laughs> so we have bookstore here, so that's where you get your most of the you know um, courses like uh, lab manuals or books or any SCSU apparels you need. Um, anything else? Any stationery supplies? <laughs> Actually, you get everything here for you need for the in terms of like your school supplies. And now we're gonna go to this is the uh, ground floor. We're gonna go to second floor. That's where you know career services is because I feel like it's really important to show where the career services thing is. And we're gonna go up there now. On my right here, uh, this is career services. Um, if you are new on campus and you need to learn how to make resumes, you need to learn how to make cover letters, as well as you need help in terms of finding your career path in the future, right? So this is like really one of the nicest resources uh, you can have on campus and they also help you find an in internship and everything like that. They also do lots of events like a job fair on campus, which helps you find internship or like a job of your major. So I feel like I needed to show this one so we get here. All right, so one of the, re one of the reasons we came here is to show you the Skyway area. Because like um, during winter, you don't wanna walk outside. It's really, really cold. It might take you like a longer time to go from one building to another building using Skyways. But I wanted to focus on like, we have Skyways like this from Attitude to Centennial Hall to Brown Hall, Science, Wix Science, and ISELF. Like, so we have Skyways throughout the areas. So it's better to use them in terms of um, in the winter if you, if you don't want to you know get out and get cold and it's pretty cool too i usually use it i don't care how long it takes i might go to class late but <laughs> i use the skyways like i don't want to get in the cold <laughs> all right oh. so we are back to the place like uh, our left side is the centennial hall so we came back here so we want to go to the campus from this side and uh, we're gonna walk around basically again and this is summertime, so we don't need to use uh, Skyways. So we came back <laughs> to the same location and uh, I don't think it was necessary to show you the same way. <laughs> so we cut it up a little bit apart. <laughs> okay. So we are still walking around campus on my left side here. This is like a brown hall. I think I'm correct. <laughs> and then this is mostly for like um, nursing majors or pre-med pre majors or biochem majors. So uh, I don't know much about nursing majors, so I don't think I need to talk more. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is Brown Hall, and if you are pre-med or um, pre-med or like a nursing, then uh, this is gonna be your building, and it's pretty cool. So on my uh, backside here, this is Riverview. So communication communication studies related uh, majors or mass communication related majors. So this building is pretty pretty old and pretty pretty nice too actually i love this building it has that um historic character <laughs> to be honest <laughs> and yeah th this side is um for all the communication studies uh, or mass communication related major this is gonna be your kind of nice nice building and on my left side here this is which science building so like a physics department chemistry department those kind of things um those measures those most of the science related measures are, are gonna be in the which science building 
And I also want to focus like a, we have like this brown hall and this is weak science and there's a skyway. So this is like a two way skyway. So I just showed you the skyway, but we have skyways throughout the building. So in winter time, it's better to use it. Like uh, it's really, it gets really cold. <laughs> I want to focus on that. This is really nice. Uh, summertime is like really pretty and you want to enjoy as much as uh, sun you can get uh, during summertime. But winter time, it's, um, it's better if you stay inside. So yeah, you can see in my right side, uh, oh, uh, left side, sorry. In my left side, this is Wix Science building. <laughs> and in my right side, this is Riverview. <laughs> and there is one more building um, I want to talk about while I'm in the same direction. This is uh, Eastman Hall. So this is kind of like the uh, newly renovated building. And uh, I want to talk about this one because this is where your health services is. And this is really important because you, you need to know where your health services are. and um, if something happens to you during your stay in St. Cloud or on campus, or please do remember we have a health services in this building. And uh, yeah, I mean, as an international student, you will have your insurance and then um, that insurance will cover most of your things. And this is where you need to come to check. Um, one of the building that I forgot to mention Oh, wait. So one of the one of the building that I forgot to mention earlier is kind of in our far left side. So that's uh, <laughs> so that's Wester Wester Hall. So it used to call B fifty one. I think we changed the name recently, and um, uh, that's also important as an international student because you want to have you know English classes there and then right place there. And um, if you are kind of in you know, IEC like uh, English for intensive English center yeah like if you are taking some of the ESL like a pre English courses that's also gonna be your building so um, on the left side here now we are kind of you know entering college of science and engineering um, electrical engineer majors mechanical engineering manufacturing engineering those majors related uh, buildings coming coming soon coming forward so like like this one is weak science and this one is i self this is like kind of new and this is for the mostly engineering majors um either it's computer engineering electrical engineering mechanical engineering and um this building is really cool i don't know what most to say we have most of our labs here as a mechanical engineering major my my most of my labs are in this building and um, i'm in my senior year right now and um most of my projects are also in this building. Um, hopefully this building is open. <laughs> if it is, we can go in. Um, if not, we'll just walk around and then we'll go to the different side of the um, campus and we'll try to show you more on that side. Okay, bummer again. So this is myself, but um, since like I cannot go in, I wanted to show this building inside because it's new and it's very cool and we have our very cool labs in here. Pretty nice cars. All right. So, on my right side here, this is a engineering building again. We call it call it ECC, and um, all of our major math classes and um, no, major mechanical engineering classes, manufacturing engineering classes electrical engineering classes most of the engineering classes are here and this is the same building I self that we saw from the other side and that's where our labs most of our engineering labs are and this is really cool building because it also has you know tutoring center for the most of the STEM majors um, and um, there, there, there you get help for most of the things you are having trouble if, if, if in your courses and we also have visual lab in here that's pretty cool I, I hope we could show you inside but um, unfortunately we can't and um, on my left side here, let's show this side. This is um, a school of education. This is a education building, and um, most of the education related. So most of the like uh, race and diversity classes, and like um, HURL classes. This is education building, and if you are you know education teaching teaching major teaching related major or education related major, this is gonna be your favorite spot on campus. I don't know how this video is going, but okay. Let's go, like, now we're gonna go to the library because um, uh, 
on the far right there is another building we want to show but we are thinking we'll go there drive down there so that <laughs> while you go home we'll show you that building too because that's a uh, national hockey center and um, um, Helen Beck Hall so we'll talk about that building when you go there but right now we're gonna go to the library and um, administrative services and some of the other important areas of campus All right, so this building on my left side, this is administrative services. So this is one of the really important building on campus because um, this is where you do all your billings and payments. This is also where there is like a financial aid if you need help in terms of uh, finding loans and things like that. As well as uh, this building also has like records and registrations. So if you need transcript or if you need help with the your courses and registration related issues. This is where you come. And um, I think this building is open, I hope. And we plan to go inside this building and I wanna show you uh, some of the major things in this building. Okay, so this building is um, an institute services. Uh, as we talked before, there is like a office of records and registration here. Um, buildings and payment is here. And uh, financial aid is here. So, kind of important building. If you ask me, like, uh, you'll visit this building quite often. <laughs> so, that's where is, we're gonna go backside. So that's where is uh, business services and uh, student account services area, areas. And um, I think this side is financial aid office. <laughs> Hello. And this side is financial financial aid. And here is enrollment and international admissions. So I usually don't go inside building, plus most of the buildings are closed. But um, I need to show you this building because uh, this is something you need to know eventually. <laughs> so uh, we just got out of like administra administrative services building and um, we're gonna go to the library but uh, I also want to talk about some of the other services like uh, um, if you are on campus uh, you wanna have access to bus uh, metro bus services uh, that's you already paid it in your fees so you just have to swipe your ID and you get to use the bus and these are the bus stops like uh, two of the bus stops that you get to use if you are on campus or off campus for St. Cloud metro area is right here and that's the bus like this it's lucky that it's coming <laughs> when we're almost talking about it it's gonna come same side so let's let's go i want to show you like these are the bus you get to use uh these are the bus you get to use they stop in this location and this is right outside of administrative services and our library miller center library and this is our library that's where we're gonna go next and we're gonna talk more about our library once we go inside and i also want to say another thing like our campus is like a no smoking and no alcohol campus right no tobacco no no smoking campus right so people use this side of the uh, across the road this garden area to smoke <laughs> just letting you know <laughs> Maybe that's important to some, to some people, but just letting you know. Now we're gonna go to our library. So this is really nice library. This is like um, I mean, this is really nice library. We're gonna talk more about it once we go inside about the services you can have here. And this is Miller Center Library. All right. So this is our school's library, and um, some of the things uh, in this library is like we have this. Uh, small cafe and then uh, this 24 hour library services so, so you can swipe your ID and stay in here 24, 24 hour if you need to study and work on your paper there are some computers and print some things as well as we have like a husky tech so you having issues with your laptops and you need some softwares on campus like um, word software or like a windows software um, you can get in here and get it and if you also want to buy laptops or 
any other, I don't know, technological devices. You have any issues with your devices or this is hospital. I don't know if you want to go in and so around, but I don't want to go in. I think you also make your ID. I think this will make sense. You also make your ID card here. Oh yeah, right? Let's talk, right? ID card. Also, and uh, if you need to make your student ID, this is Husky Tech, but you also make your student ID in this location. Yeah, uh, if you break your laptop or if you are having <laughs> software issues with your phones or something like that, you can come here and ask for help. Um, most of the students working here, they know most of the things better than me. <laughs> and they can help you with it. Thanks. So we're gonna try to go inside the library and because um, I wanna show you things that uh, we need to swipe ID right now because of the corona time. We have to swipe in to get in. Oops. <coughs> All right. So this is our library and um, <coughs> library. It's in three different floors and also basement, right? And um, if you need help with books, finding books, and they also have right place here. As well as you can check out things like um, projector. What else you can check out? Like, tripods. Yeah, tripods, cameras. Even like if you forget your charger and you need to use charger when you're at the library, I think you can check out like um, chargers here too. <coughs> our libraries, uh, circulation desk, and this is this. Most of the places can close. I don't know if you can go up. So, most of the services is closed right now um, because this is summertime and also because we are in kind of um, quarantine isolation. <coughs> and um, this side is like a group study session area. Uh, right now, it's group study area is closed. And on our right side, it's like single study areas. And that's like a, we have a computer, each person has their own desk, and you can sit here and spend your time. and. Try to figure out your math problems. <laughs> Anything else we need? So them around. Stop, man. How are This building is still, oh sorry, library, but um, I want to come out from this side and show you public safety building. So this is public safety center. So if you feel like any sort of unsafety on campus or if you lost your things and then you, you want to report it. So this is like your own kind of like a campus police, right? So at night, if you need help walking around because you feel unsafe, they also do that too within uh, campus locations. So. It's important building as well. All safety center is uh, kind of like your safety center. <laughs> and yeah, we have lots of parking lots. This is like a pay lot. You have to you have to pay to park here. Pay there. So we're gonna walk through now, and then uh, we're gonna talk about some of the buildings on the way. Uh, so. We just got out of library, so this is the library, like um, our right side, this is the library. On, and on my left side, uh, this is the public safety building. And um, so we've been walking around to show you, give you that feel of like what we're building are where. And then on the far right, that's the industry services, that where we went first and we went to library. We got out of the back side of the library and we're walking here. And this is again, back to performing arts center. So this is the building that we talked very first in our video and we're gonna go that side we're gonna end our video where we started oh, on my right side this is one of the another dome like uh, uh, this is case hill dome so there are lots of domes around campus um, we, didn't, we didn't show you around the domes because um, I don't know some people stay on campus some people stay off campus but uh, this is one of the domes and we, there is also another dome, that's Sterrens, right? Sterrens Hall. And that building is quite tall. 
we can show you when we go a little bit in the front side. <laughs> and like, um, if you live on campus, you know, like if you live on campus, you need to buy a meal plan. I mean, you can, there are also um, shared kitchen spaces in the dorms that you can use to uh, cook your own food. But uh, if you need meal plan, uh, this is where you come to eat. This is uh, Garvey Commons. It's like, um, it's pretty decent. I don't want to say bad or good, but uh, it's really, um, in terms of uh, eating on campus and uh, having meal plan, it's really great. And then um, you can use your meal plan, come here, eat. That's the dome I was talking about. That's really tall dome in our campus. So that's where we started our video, like uh, originally. And we walked around the campus, basically. Like, so we walked from this side, we went to the far side, uh, far right, and then we came back to the library and we walked this side. Like, so this is again, Adult Memorial Center. Uh, Adult Memorial Center is pretty big. So we kind of you know, went around and we came back here. So there is one of the buildings that I wanna, one of the kill buildings. That's for like, you know, arts major, you know, graphic, graphic design major, right? Yeah. All right, you are, you are, let me say this best. <laughs> so yeah. So that's another building that's right next to Lawrence that I want to talk about and we'll end this video at the end of the hockey center, like National Hockey Center. Hey, okay. So I know I talked about you know having bus services and bus stops and uh, uh, right next to library. But I wanted to talk about this bus stop because like if you are international student and if you came from the airport for the first time, they, that's, that's, this is where they will drop you. And those um, um, airport shuttles, most of the airport shuttles, they will drop you here. Or if you need to go to Minneapolis with some of the bus, bus services, they also pick you up from here. So, and one of the building, one of the building that I missed to talk about right next to Lawrence is Kiel. That's the art major building, film studies major building. And uh, again. Um, your personals they drop you right here is added memorial center added memorial center is pretty big I've, I've been talking about it quite a lot probably and right there is our Lawrence Hall and we have um, one more building uh, that I feel I want to kind of show in this video but then it's quite far and we kind of tired to walk so we're gonna drive there let's go to my car <laughs> to drive on campus right uh, like or, or when you get here you need to drive and then you need permit first and you need to give a permit test for that and you need to give road test and then and then you can get license then you can buy your car and if you're a park on campus you need parking permit and that's the that's permit is something you get from public safety and this is one of the parking I mean it's really hard to get the parking permit of this this location but yeah there are lots of parking like this and um, from now we're gonna go to another building we're gonna drive and then we will see you Right there. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the last building that I want to talk about. Um, this is uh, Kurt Brooks National Hockey Center. I'm not a hockey player, but St. Cloud is pretty like hockey campus. It's pretty cool to come to see the uh, hockey games. I come here usually to do the ice skating. It's kind of fun. Kind of fun. And also, this is where they held the graduation services. And uh, this building is also connected with the Helen Beck Hall. That's where all the gym is, and then other basketball court mountain like you know rock climbing areas so this building is very nice very important for St. Cloud State and this is parking I don't know what he is showing <laughs> but yeah so it's kind of like a recreation recreation uh, recreational buildings so this building on my back is hockey center and this is also gets to connect with the Helen Beck Hall so if you have a gym membership or if you want to go to swimming pool or if you want to play basketball um, that's where you go and I don't know that's really nice and um, we're gonna go to one of the bonus location here after this uh, I'm not gonna end this video here we're gonna go to this uh, one bonus location and we'll end our video there so like I said uh, we wanted to go to one of the bonus location uh, which is pretty cool area actually and it's very close to campus and uh, this is one of the location that I came here during my orientation days one of the community member of the St. Cloud State University brought us here and I like this place this is Munsinger Garden this is a walking distance away from the campus and um, like our campus it's beautifully located in the banks of Mississippi River and um, this is the park across the river um, we're gonna go to Mississippi River and we 
we'll see you that campus. If you join our school during you know fall time or like a kind of summer time, then the, uh, it's pretty nice weather outside. And then this is uh, Munsinger Garden Riverside Park. And on my background here, this is Mississippi River. And right across the river is our campus. I just wanted to show you this and this is pretty cool. Um, if you live on campus, it's walking distance from the campus. One of our dormitories on that side. And this is a bridge where you can just walk across. You can come here, it's like a couple minutes walks. Beautiful Mississippi River, beautiful campus, and beautiful garden. So if you guys watched this video till the end, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank my friend Roshan here. Um, his audiovisual expertise of this video as well as my previous video. And uh, he also have uh, his own channel that I'm going to put in the description of this um, video. And please check out his channel um, and uh, enjoy the view of our campus and Mississippi River. I'm out.